Hi there, this is Sunny from Tech Lab. Today I want to show you how to set up two APs using the WDS feature. Uh, the reason why uh, you may consider using the WDS feature is because you can effectively extend the wireless range of up to four um, access points using the WDS feature. Okay, so uh, for this demo, um, I have two uh, APs which are by um, Ingenious Model EAP150. Uh, but for this to work, or for the uh, WDS feature to work, you can have any router, uh, any access points um, with the uh, WDS feature uh, turned on, and that uh, you can have up to four of them uh, wirelessly connected to each other. So uh, before you begin, uh, you would need to know the default IP address of each of the APs uh, and the router, uh, the login and the passwords for each of them, uh, for simplifying the process of uh, setting them up in the network, I usually have the IPs uh, in the same range, uh, and I usually have them also uh, configured to a static IP so that I know uh, uh, which IP address corresponds to which um, devices. So for the router, I have set the router to be at 192.168.200.1. Uh, for the other two IPs, uh, for uh, for the other two APs uh, access points, I've set them to at 192.168.200.2 uh, and 192.168.200.3. So um, I will connect one of the APs now to my laptop. Um, this here uh, obviously has to be powered. Uh, it has to have an Ethernet cable. Uh, and you also have to set the um, laptop to have a static IP to connect to the APs. So what you do is you would go to your laptop, go to the start menu, uh, type in um, the view connection, uh, network connections. Um, I'm on Windows 7, but if you're on another uh, um, operating system, you just need to go to the uh, local area network. Uh, and then on the properties, select the TCP IP version 4, go to properties, and uh, populate the uh, static IPs. Uh, and here I have already um, pre-configured them. Uh, I have the 192.168.200.21, which is the IP of the laptop. Um, the important thing is you need to set the um, the default gateway uh, to be the uh, default gateway of the router, which is 192.168.200.1. Um, and so you can leave the uh, DNS server addresses empty. Alright, once you have that, um, you're going to need to bring up the browser. Um, in this case, I'll bring up Chrome, and I have already um, typed in the uh, default, or I, sh I should say, I already typed in the IP address of the AP that is now connected to my laptop. Uh, so now all I have to do is connect to the um, AP by the um, login and the password. Uh, once you have connected to your um, configuration page of your access point, you need to change the mode of which it's operating in. In this case, I've already pre-configured it to be in the WDS AP mode. The AP mode allows it to broadcast the Wi-Fi and at the same time uh, communicate with all the um, APs that are in the network. So I have here in the um, mode WDS AP. Uh, the next thing is you got to change the um, under network, you got to change the LAN settings. In here, because I wanted to match the uh, IP range of my current network from the router, uh, I like to um, typically set up the APs in the same uh, IP range so that I can later reconfigure them, get to them, uh, or get to get back to this a, uh, a configuration page uh, without having to guess uh, which IP address it's automatically set from the router. So in here I've set to uh, 192.168.200.3, uh, the IP subnet at 255.255.255.0, uh, 
the default gateway here is the um, uh, IP address of your router, which is 192.168.200.1. Uh, the static IP should be the same as the default gateway. So in here, I've set to 192.168.200.1. Uh, same as secondary DNS address, I have set to 192.168.200.1. Uh, now that you have that configured, you would hit apply. After you have applied the changes, you would go into the wireless settings. Uh, should be under basic. If not, what you're lo looking to do is just to configure the ESSID uh, for your Wi Fi, which in here I have uh, set to Tech Lab 3. The three is simply just to match uh, the number I have set, the, um, the last uh, subnet that I've set on the uh, access point. So this access point is set to have a uh, ESSID, the name, set to TechLab3. Uh, the important thing to know is the channel and the MAC ad addresses here. The channel of all your access points must be exactly the same. It must be the same, meaning the number that you assign to from 1 to 11. Uh, if you have set the channel to be uh, 11, the, all the other APs in your network has to be set at the same level or the same channel, which here uh, is 11. Um, and also the MAC address. The MAC address that you put in here, uh, up to 4, are the other uh, APs that you're using. Uh, in here, I've already pre-configured it. Um, the IP address or the MAC ID uh, could be found on the box of the uh, access point that you purchased or um, usually on another, um, on a label. Um, in here, you can see that there's a label, you know, uh, and under the label somewhere, you should see the MAC ID. And that's what you need to put in uh, into the um, uh, address. Once you have that, um, you're going to go ahead and set the security if you wish. Uh, you can have no security, you can have WEP, you can have WPA. Uh, this security is simply to um, connect all your APs. Uh, it's used to connect all your APs together. It is different from the uh, Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi access uh, security, uh, which you will set uh, separately. Um, so here I've already uh, pre-configured them uh, to have the WPA2. Uh, and to have the passcode of a passphrase key to the tech lab one two three four, but it could be any uh, method that you choose and any password that you like, as long as all the APs uh, have the same encryption and the same key. So now that you have them all configured to have the, um, now that I have them configured to have the same channel the MAC ID addresses of the uh, APs and the security um, between the APs. Um, you're, uh, you just need to repeat the same process for the other AP that you're looking to configure. Again, the ESSID could be different if you wish to have the uh, APs to uh, have a different name. Uh, uh, but you could, of course, also set them up to be exactly the same. So uh, the next step is to deploy the uh, APs in your uh, network. So all you have to do is um, disconnect the um, AP that have you just configured, the last AP that you just configured. Uh, just connect one of the APs that you have um, to the router. And um, the other APs that you have can just be wirelessly connected uh, from the WDS feature, of course, which is why we're doing all this, um, and you're done. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Sunny. Uh, this um, tutorial is brought to you by TechLab. For more tips and tricks, please go to www.techlab102.com. Thanks for watching.